chaotic bar pendulum. It starts off with a bar that has a bolt going through it, and it's free to rotate around that bar, and it has these two arms hanging down. And if I give it a small push, we simply see it rocking back and forth. Now, if I push a little bit harder, we'll see it turn around in a complete circle, but it's going to lose energy to friction, and eventually it's going to stop swinging all the way in a circle, and then just go back into a rocking back and forth movement. And that's pretty much to be expected. Now, where it gets a little bit more interesting is that this bar is pinned right now, but if I pull a pin on it, this bar is now able to move. And the movement of this bar is independent of this bar, and as I push it, give it a little bit of energy, we'll see energy transferring back and forth from one part of the system to another. It's called a resonance. Uh, sometimes you see this bar, it's rocking back and forth with a lot of energy and that bar is hardly moving. Other times you see all the movements in this bar right here. It's swinging back and forth and the horizontal bar isn't doing anything at all. Now the question is, what will happen if I give it a push so that it's swinging all the way in and around, all the way around in a circle? Will this bar follow behind? Will it swing and stay out in this position? Forward, backward, towards the inside? That's where it gets a little bit more interesting. So let's see what happens. So the energy is changing back and forth from one part of the system into another. And it does so randomly because depending on how I started initially makes a big difference in how it behaves. So if I push it a second time, we won't see exactly the same results. Now let's try one step. Let's try one step further. This bar is also pinned, and it has a smaller arm, which has a period that's half that of the longer one. So once again, if I give it a, a small amount of energy, we see energy transferring from back back and forth through the system from one part to another. Now, how will it behave when I push it a little bit harder? Ready? So we see that small bar swinging in one direction, and we swing, see it swinging in another direction. Its movements are said to be chaotic or, or random. Uh, if I push it again, it will behave differently because the initial conditions will, affect, will greatly affect the outcome of its movement. So this is my chaotic pendulum. I hope you found it interesting.